day. My powers have worked. Awesome. It'll drop any time soon. The, the pot filter was like, nope, I'm not staying where you want me to stay, so... Yeah, but uh, hello everyone, Liam Kennison here. We're on episode number five for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is called Never Kill a Boy on the First Date. Um, Yeah, last episode was just all kinds of bizarreness, but I can't complain whatsoever. It's still made out for a fun episode, but it just wasn't as um captivating as the first three episodes have been for me personally. Um, but it was still, it, it, it still had its really, really insane moments. So yeah, there, uh, there was that, but, um, yeah, this show has just been pretty, pretty, um, super so far. I have not had anything like, it's not been boring. It's not been, uh, poor in terms of quality. It's, it's been pretty much fun. And, um, I really am excited to check out the future because I know this is revered by a lot of people. So, uh, I'm expecting business will pick up, um, later on, whether it's this season or season two is where the, the, the meat is really, really juicy for the show. Um, I'm excited. So with that said, let's get on with episode number five of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'll have the extended reaction up on Patreon. So with that said, let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, we're, we're, we're starting off like this? Okay, I'm not complaining. Just another vampire yeah, getting their ass introduced. kicked. I'm Buffy, and you're history. Yes, I best consult my books. Mm. And there will be a time of crisis, of worlds hanging in the balance. And in this time, that sounds like Crisis on Infinite Earth, Stone. The anointed. Okay, the well, not, not so much. Warrior. If you fail to bring him to me, if you allow that girl to stop you. Oh. If this is a council Here ship, the where is the ambassador? <laughs> Told? But you don't seem bookwormy. The. Don't judge a book by its cover. In a dark room with a lot of musty old books. Oh, and I've offended you. No. Oof. No, I'm just surprised you gave any thought to what I'm like. No, no, no. She, uh, she doesn't like fun. How about we meet there at eight? Yeah, eight. There. One to Buffy. Zero to Cordelia the bitch. A bunch of people getting together. It's a very big deal. It's not. It is. Now I, now, now I wonder what's going on with Owen. He's either a demon or he's Wait, going to die in this episode. What are you talking about? My calculations are precise. They're bad calculations. Bad. Buffy has a really important... Have you recalculated? Oh. All right. Well, I'll just jump in my time machine, go back to the 12th century and ask the vampires to postpone their ancient prophecy for a few days while you take in <laughs> dinner and a show. <laughs> Okay, at this point, you're abusing sarcasm. This is no ordinary vampire. Are, you sh are we, are we sure Anthony Head's not really a Time Lord? <laughs> have a chance to beat them back. Tonight, we go into battle. Go on, Giles! <laughs> this is battle. Ah, oh. This bitch. Oh, boy. Damn it, vampires. Don't think you're ready. Ready to look upon him. If there's sin in there, there's sin all around. Has this guy it's had so much great. to drink? On that day, there won't be anybody telling us what to do or why we're doing it. Can that bus driver not kick him off? Like, prepare. dude, you're causing a ruckus. Sit down or on shut that. up. Oh! It was a bit brave, wasn't he? Can you move? There it is. High pitch screens, uh, like kind of squid. Oh shh! Mr. Judge got it. <laughs> How's that for judgment? How about we try it again for tonight? I'll even lend you my watch. Ah, how sweet. Oh, it's nice as well. Well, 
We could invite the children. <laughs> they drink. They start fighting. There's nothing wrong, Xander. Well, I've sort of heard that you and Cordelia were somewhat all over each other. A little. I danced with her a couple times. She's kind of grabby. Well, let's see if I... Rearrange to hell with Cordelia. A few interpretations. So, tonight's looking pretty slow, right? Probably best to relax and regroup. No big disasters coming. That is so good. I will see you tomorrow, then. Bye! Where's <laughs> the strangest girl? <laughs> Child's just... Yeah, you he's done. done. well. Everything is in place. Oh, boy. When this night's work is done, I will have a mighty ally. I'll be one no, step maybe he doesn't want to be friends with you. I just went to a party. Wow. Never knew being a teenager was so full of possibilities. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. I, I mean, he's on edge. He's now ra- That's Giles. We need to talk. Owen's oh, aged. Home. My calculations may not have been as far off as I thought. Five died. <sighs> Out of the ashes of five shall rise the- Oh. Hit it with a book. <laughs> oh, shh. Leave Giles alone. Oh. Oh, shh. Jesus, Xander. Giles, it's us. What are you doing here? Well, we thought you guys going to react you. Are they... They are. They are not friendly. Can you get out this window? I'm afraid not. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it doesn't look spacious. Pick up the phone, call 911. That boy is going to need some serious oxygen after I'm through with him. <laughs> call 911 to recover from that shade. I was hoping I'd find you here. You are? There's serious stuff happening tonight. You need to be out there. No, not you two. Where do you know Buffy from? Work. You work? Buffy! <laughs> Look at this. Oh boy. Show up everywhere. Hey, everyone's getting involved. Everyone's so happy to see Buffy and Owen together. What's he doing here? I guess it's the same thing you're doing here. Uh, excuse me, what are any of you doing here? Look, we gotta Poor get to Owen. A... Oh, we thought it'd be fun if uh, we made this a double date. I didn't know you guys were seeing each other. You know what'd be cool? The Sunnydale Funeral Home. I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, that's where yeah. all the cool Actually, that kids are. Cool. Do you think we could all sneak in? Oh we God, Owen, you weren't supposed to agree. They seem to be having fun. Bite me. <laughs> Is that a pun? Um, I'll take it as a pun. Owen, I gotta go. Uh, <sighs> I was just gonna say, who, who's hiding in there? Oh, good. What happened? <laughs> Two more of the brethren came in here. They came after me. But I was more than a match for them. Meaning? Did, wait, did... I hid. But this ah. uh, chap was good enough to bunk with me till they went away. Well, what, were they here after you? Or a bit morbid, but... Uh, I have been judged. Oh, it's this guy again. It's the judge, jury, executioner. What's going on? Welcome, Owen. Ow! Go outside and make sure the others are okay. Ugh. So we that was... Buffy. Oof. Owen! They told me about you while I was sleeping. Uh, why does he hurt me? Go on. Oh, no. Come on, Giles. Ow. Ow. He tried to bite me. What a sissy. <laughs> Dead. Ouch. Uh, he was found wanting. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Be the judge jury. Tom. Puppy, Owen. Just give her a sec. Yeah, just let her uh, unleash this aggression. Holy shit. Your turn. I'm, I'm... There we go. It was great to see that bit of aggression though from Buffy though. Not gonna lie. What happened to that guy? Oh. He's roasting in peace. Oh, okay, because you know I would. I know. Here, 
It's not you, it's me. Right. It's you. And I was kind of hoping that maybe you and I could still be... I, I get it. You just want to be friends. That'd be nice. Friends. She doesn't, like, seek this as a yeah. thrill. He does. I understand why Buffy had to make that move. My father gave me a very tiresome speech about uh, responsibility and sacrifice. Sacrifice, huh? Here we go. It seems like a nice laugh. Yeah. But he wants to be danger man. It's not something that she you adores. You guys, you guys know the score. You're careful. I don't have an instruction manual. We feel our way as we go along. And uh, I must say, as a slayer, you're, you're doing pretty well. Oh, Giles. At least I did stop that. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> the little kid, oh my God. So yeah, that was a really, really, um, a solid episode it was way better than um the last episode by a long shot in my opinion and i felt it, it was really really strong stuff to uh to see in this episode like uh we got to know a bit more uh in in terms of plot like uh the fact that the anointed one wasn't the whole mr i'm the ju i'm a judge uh, guy uh it was actually the little boy so that's gonna be very very interesting um Especially if this show does go into a creepy aspect. I think that's going to be very, very strong. And I do feel like the uh, Anointed One will probably be a season end thing. Uh, like something we'll have to deal with in the season end, surely. Uh, especially if he's supposed to be like the greatest warrior to the Master Vampire. So um, that's going to be very, very interesting stuff to see. Uh, but I liked the twist though, because... Uh, the Master Vampire said it uh, himself that it's going to be an entity that Buffy would not recognize. And she only assumed that um, that guy that she thought uh, was the anointed one. Um, but there we go. Assumption. It's the mother of all failures. And uh, yeah, it seems like the anointed one is still out there in the form of a little boy, which is, yeah, it's going to be absolutely um interesting to see how that does uh, pan out um and i'm absolutely scared to see how they will handle the little kid like she's gonna have to deal with the little kid so that's gonna be testing isn't it um having to deal with a kid um rather than adults and all of that because um there's gonna be some people that might uh question morality but at the end of the day if this guy's supposed to be the if, if this kid is supposed to be the greatest warrior then yeah he needs to be stopped um yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the law in this episode was really, really great. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed the prophecy regarding uh, the Anointed One and how dangerous he is supposed to be. Um, and uh, not just that, but um, we got to know a bit more of Giles in this episode as well, um, where we um, learned about how he had to give a part of his life at such a young age as well. And um, I, think, uh, I think that is a really, really good point. I really, really loved that scene at the end, um, especially with Buffy apologising for leaving uh, Giles to basically fend for himself. But he did some really, really great thinking. But then again, hiding in one of the more place, uh, the, yeah, uh, hiding in um, there was like the only real way. I'll just close this. I'm getting low battery. Awesome. Uh, it was the only way for him to basically survive, I guess. So, yeah, uh, it was it was some really, really great thinking, though. But um, it does make you feel a bit for Giles that he had this path laid out for him at such a young age. And now he's seeing Buffy, who's um, still at a young age, probably a few years older than ha um, how his destiny was like laid out. Um, but still he understands that frustration that Buffy uh, is going through um, because she wants that normal life. And that was the big theme in this episode about um, how much focus we had on Buffy trying to seek normality. And he understands um, um, why Buffy, uh, like, I, I feel like he does understand to a, a degree why Buffy is a bit um, shaky with the whole 
uh, idea of pri- prioritizing her slayer duties to her normal life because she wants that normal life. But it's not like she's giving the middle finger to slayers. She's just frustrated that this keeps happening over and over again. Um, but he's going to be a bit frustrated as well. Um, that she would ra- that he would, ra- uh, that, yeah, that she would rather, um, prioritize normal life to slay a life. So yeah, but, um, I, f- I feel like he can understand because she wants to do something that he couldn't. Um, so he can kind of empathize with her to a degree. So yeah, but it was still pretty, pretty, uh, great to know a bit of Giles's story. Um, in the past, uh, it, from his past and how he was destined, uh, for this, for this kind of life. But yeah, <coughs> um, yeah, I really, really love, um, this episode though. The writing was re- I thought the writing took a step up in my opinion. Uh, the characters were pretty, pretty interesting. Even Owen, who I thought was, uh, a bit, um, like inconsistent in terms of the writing because, um, he was so fascinated and he was, I think he was described by Willow as uh, a guy who hardly hangs around with anyone to begin with. Um, I, I guess it's that attraction, which is why he followed Buffy, but um, still, I do feel like there there's a bit of inconsistency with, um, with uh, Owen. And I'm kind of glad that he didn't become a main factor because I think the only thing that was going for him uh, in ter- cause he didn't really bring much in terms of personality compared to like Xander or, or Willow and you easily connect with them a lot. But the only thing that really, really, uh, Owen had really going for him was his dangerous, uh, his, 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 uh, lust for danger, uh, him laughing in the face of danger. And, uh, that's, uh, it, it's good that Buffy, um, said, oh, well, I can't deal with this because you might get yourself killed and all of that. Uh, and it's, and it's a bit of a selfish aspect, isn't it? Um, cause, um, she knows that, like, she even said it herself, that Sander and Willow know how dangerous this can be. And, um, they, they don't take this as some kind of thrill ride facing vampires. They know what has to be done. Um, and they don't revel in this. And, um, that was the key attraction to, um, from Owen to, to, uh, Buffy in the end. Um, because, um, uh, yeah, it, it was, it, yeah, that, that's basically it. He, he wanted, uh, this relationship to continue because he saw how Buffy, um, was, uh, reveling in her, in her slayer duties and uh he fa- he was like oh man i need to get in on that so yeah um and i'm guessing that he's gonna keep everything just hush hush like he, he like they're still gonna be friends it seems but he's um not going to say oh buffy does this he, he's not like cordelia who was a right bitch in this episode but as she always has been it seems in this uh episode i did love that scene though when she was um she saw angel and she thought she could have a shot at him and he just walks off not even interested in cordelia's business um she uh, he in, in instead he was just lecturing buffy about um her desires for a normal life um but i i really really loved that aspect though how uh we focus so much on that normal life because we saw it uh talked about in a few ep- uh in the first few episodes but we got to see um how it can kind of impact buffy's life and how um Buffy is trying to prioritize that normal life, trying to have so much focus on having a normal life and uh, how much uh, impact it can be. Um, as she's trying, she's just struggling to find that normality. So, yeah, I really, really loved the focus on her normal, uh, on her quest for normality. Uh, as well as Xander, I did thought it was a bit dickish to to try and uh, deter him, uh, deter Buffy from. Um, uh, going with Owen and all of that because, but then again, we know he's got that fascination. Uh, he, he, he does have a bit of a soft spot for Buffy. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with the fact that he's on the same boat as, um, Giles because we've, we've seen him express his intrigue with, uh, Buffy time and time again. Although then again, we do, we did have that tease, uh, another tease of the Willow, and um Buffy uh, uh, the Willow and uh, Xander relationship when they were pretending to go out i think they will uh, make it official one day i i i have that feeling it's going to head that direction and i wouldn't be mad because i think 
um, Xander and Willow would make a really, really... They, they've they already got a good relationship anyways, from what we've seen. And they really, really um, did well today in this episode, helping out Giles. But um, I would not be complaining whatsoever if them two actually did get together. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was a really, really superb episode. I really loved the focus on um, responsibility and um, that focus on uh, normal life. And how Owen was in, kind of integrated into the mix and all of that. We are also got a bit of aggression from from Buffy, and I did really really like uh, the fact that um, Xander did not uh, held back from Buffy knowing about the truth until um, the guy was roasted and all of that. Um, because we it gives us an insight about how um, if you press Buffy's wrong buttons. Beware. I mean, she's already a badass from what we're seeing already, but um, you turn up her aggression a bit and it's like, rip you. So, yeah. Um, but um, I did really, really love this episode so much. Um, I thought it was um, a, step, a huge step up from the last episode. The last episode was fun and all of that. Um, but this episode I really, really enjoyed, especially with uh, the law uh, uh, with the anointed one, the uh, Giles's back, uh, a bit of Giles's backstory coming out into play, and all of that, and uh, uh, Buffy still trying to adjust as well, uh, trying to find that normality. But yeah, damn vampires! But it was really, really good stuff to see. So yeah, I really, really en enjoyed that, as well as certain pieces of dialogue um, just standing out in my opinion. I thought, like I said, I think the writing in this episode was really, really great stuff. Uh, there was some dialogues, there were some scenes that I really, really reveled in. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!